Hello everyone. So today we are going to uh, work on this uh, special Aurora mesh. So last time what we had is just a simple plane. So because of that it didn't have any curves just like what you see here. So we are going to create a mesh that have some curved shape and then also we are going to do some improvements to the texture as well. So yeah, let's see how to do these things today. Right, so this is the system that we have at the moment. So as you can see, we can clearly see this uh, Aurora is like a simple plane even though we see some kind of a wave effect. It's just one single plane so I want to have a bit of a curved shape so because if you watch some images some references you can see in our rust we always have some curves it's not just a simple plane so that's what I'm going to make now so let's head in head to blender so this is a new file, let me just delete this cube, I don't need it, and let me shift A, we are in object mode, shift A to add and then I'll add the base here curve. Let's go to the top view because it's easier for me to manage the curve, select the curve and go to edit mode now we have can see the controls of the curve you can select them if you select it and press g you can move it like this so if you press select and press r you can rotate similarly so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do here is creating some curved shape press E to extrude S to scale S to scale like this so let me do some more edits. I want to keep the center here and the mesh away from the center so that when I spawn this uh, mesh in a large scale, I will always see the auroras from a side. That will make sense when we actually do this. Right. Just that's enough. Right. Should we pull this? Okay. Now go back to object mode. Right click, convert mesh. Then go back to edit mode. So now this is a mesh. If you press A, it's a you can select all the vertices, and if you press C, you can extrude. I only want to extrude in Z direction, so press Z. Right now, this is the mesh I got. So I need some more vertices. So let me. Do this and select all, subdivide because we are going to have some moment using world position offset as well. For that, we need more vertices, but I think this should be enough. Now, let's go to UV editing mode 
everything is selected press u to unwrap okay uh, let me move this to the middle and scale in x direction this needs to rotate right now we can apply our uh, our raw material okay now let's export and see fpx I'll call it Aurora World SM four D six up is Z. Yeah, did I export it? All right. Now back in Android. X system Aurora. Let me import Aurora over. If I right. so this is the mesh. Um, let me delete these other Aurora meshes. to face that way now let's scale it right and this one point one and lock ten thousand Okay, let's give it an offset. Okay. Too far. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. Where will the moon be? Change this at all. No. Let me unlock it. Two thousand. Okay, now let's apply the Aurora material and Aurora. So this is how it looks. Um, I think this value could be a bit larger. Yeah. Oh, I can barely see this line. So I need to modify that in Photoshop, the texture. But that's not a big deal. Okay, now, if I duplicate this, and change the rotation, we can have it around us like this but 
that's not the way I want to spawn it. I want to spawn them uh, using a Niagara emitter so that we can have many different rotations and some they appear then disappear a variation basically but I'll do that in the next episode let me first fix this edge so we need to open Photoshop and our Aurora material Select and invert and delete, then do a feather and pixels. And oh, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Five pixels. Oh, still too much. No. Okay, I use point of. I think that should work. Wait. No, let me just select only this strip. To a feather pen. Okay, I did this. Let me save and reimport. Oh no, that looks bad. Hold on. Let me enable this and save and reimport. Now it looks good. We don't see the edge. Okay, so here is the final look, and I'm gonna stop this episode right here. So Next time, let's work on uh, creating the Niagara particle system to spawn these uh, Aurora meshes. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link will be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.